Welcome to another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are listening to another song by Bread, and it is If. This song was recommended, I think, the most when we did our first Bread song. A lot of people in the comments were saying, okay, the next song you do by Bread has to be If. So that is what we're listening to. It's a great recommendation, and this song was released in 1971. And again, it's a beautiful love song. <laughs> well, I have no idea what the song is about. I've never heard it. I'm not even that familiar with bread. So um, I'm, I'm really excited to start, you know, getting more um, well versed with this group. And I'm excited because I loved the first song. So if this is another beautiful love song, I'm very excited because he is a fantastic writer, a fantastic songwriter. This is what they're all about. Most of their songs are soft, rock, easy, easy listening, listening huh? love, <laughs> love songs. And I think you'll enjoy it. I think I will. So let's get started. All right. <laughs> If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? The words will never show the you I've come to know. If a face could launch a thousand ships, then where am I to go? There's no left me to and wait Beside you all the way If the world should stop with all And spinning slowly down to die I'd spend the end with you And when the world was through Do you recognize it? No, not at all. It's um very beautiful. Maybe a tinge of sadness? I don't get that at all. You don't get that? No. I, f I feel like it's... He's showing how devoted he is to this woman and how deep his love is for her. That if the world was going to end, he'd spend the end with her. Okay. And yeah, I get it. and I don't I don't think that's sad. I think that it it's just showing how strong his feelings are. Okay. I get that. Yeah. Definitely get that. But you know, you know everybody interprets and hears songs in their own way. I'm going to go with your interpretation because I don't like sadness. Okay. <laughs> then Go back a little bit. Sure. Because wow, his voice is incredible. Wow. Love 
the ending where he says, you and I will simply fly away. Yeah. That is beautiful. And you're right. There's nothing sad about that. Yeah, I think it's just about how the only thing in the world that matters to him is her. He's just completely in love with her. They're in love with each other. Only their love matters. If the world was coming to an end, the two of them is all that they need. And that's just mm -hmm. very beautiful. And I love the writing. It's very creative. Um, and I mean, he's like painting a picture, but with his words. I mean, he's very expressive. I love his reference to Helen of Troy. I'm assuming a face that can launch a thousand ships. Um, she was known for being the most beautiful woman in the world and the start of the Trojan War. And so it's just very colorful, descriptive songwritings. I and mean, that's yes. what I picked up from the last song that we listened to, the other bread song, is that it's a love song, but it's just so creative in how he writes. And, you know, he writes, and this song is a little like otherworldly with, you know, stars and flying away kind of references. I mean, just super creative, beautiful lyrics. He's a wonderful songwriter. And we haven't even started on his voice. I mean, he has such an incredible voice. Just the tone and the quality of his voice, literally, I was starting to get teary-eyed just from the beauty of his voice. And the song speaks for itself, and it didn't need a lot of instrumentals and a lot going on because the message was just in his voice, really. Although I did like the guitar. Oh yeah, well of course, you have to have something, it was, but... It was different in this song. But there wasn't like backup harmonies. Was, yeah. There wasn't, you know, multiple guitars, a keyboard, you know, drums. There wasn't, you know, like a big production kind of thing. Just a simple, yeah. beautiful ballad. Oh, oh, I definitely agree. It was a very simple song. As simple as it was without all the dramatics, it was very powerful. And touching. I loved that. I mean, clearly whoever he's writing about, he's very much in love with her. He had to have some sort of inspiration to write. His wife. His wife, okay. To, to write lyrics that powerful, you have to have some sort of muse for that. You know, you can't come up with that kind of beauty without having some kind of example. You're you're absolutely right because while I was listening to the lyrics in my head I'm thinking he's he's writing about his he's only had one wife. They they were high school sweethearts, so Aww. they've been together forever. So he's writing about her. That's that's very beautiful. Very I touching. loved this song. I have to keep listening to this song. I'm going to be listening to it over and over again. It's just easy listening, but just so beautiful. So thank you so much to everybody who recommended that song over and over again in the comments. I totally get it. I understand why you wanted us to listen to it and well, really me to hear it for the first time. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.